Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials that's destined to win tutorials. Welcome today. We're going to be taking past questions under the topic combinations. Okay, and if it's your first time uh, watching a video on this channel, welcome and please try to subscribe to support us to do more. All right, subscribe to this channel. GT DTW Tutorials is all about helping students with their maths and their jam, WAEC post UME syllabus all right so okay let's go on to the questions we have here from jam 2014 question 48 it says in how many ways can a team of three girls be selected from seven please try to watch uh, the previous video on combination all right and uh, the introduction to the topic try to watch that video so you can follow us um, well in this um, in solving this question all right so it says, in how many ways can a team of three girls be selected from seven? Now, remember the formula of combination. It says what n combination r is equal to what n factorial over what n minus r of factorial then r factorial. All right. So here we're selecting three girls from seven. So we have what seven combination what three. All right, and which will give us what seven factorial over seven minus three factorial three factorial. Okay, so let's solve this. What seven factorial? Um, okay, from here we don't really need to expand, so we just say seven factorial over what? What seven minus three? That's four factorial three factorial. All right, and what is our right option here? Our right option is option D. Our next question from JAM 2013, that's your UTME 2013, question 47. It says, <clears throat> in how many ways can a student select two subjects from five? All right. So in how many ways can he select two subjects from five? So our number of subjects is what? Five. Combination what? Two. All right. And which we have what? Five factorial over what? Five minus two factorial 2 factorial and what would this give us we have 5 factorial over what's 5 minus 2 that's 3 factorial 2 factorial and what's our right option here our right option is option a our next question from jam 2012 question 47 it says evaluate this all right if n is equal to what 15 so we have what n plus 1 combination n minus 2 so all you need to do is just put the value of n here so we have what 15 plus 1 combination what 15 minus 2 and what's 15 plus 1 that's what 16 combination what's 15 minus 2 that's what 13 and remember our formula for combination let me remind you here we have what n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial okay so that's what we're going to do here so we have here let's write this down here we have 16 factorial over 16 minus 13 factorial then 13 factorial so let's expand this okay remember where n let me write this down here where n factorial is equal to what n bracket n minus 1 bracket n minus 2 bracket dot 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 all right so here we have 16 times what 15 times 14 times we can stop here at 13 factorial so we can cancel out here okay and what is 16 minus 13 16 minus 13 would give us what 3 factorial times 13 factorial so 13 factorial will cancel out here and 3 factorial is what 3 times 2 times 1 okay so let's cancel out 2 here we we'll get 1 2 and 14 is 7 and 3 here will go how many times 1 and 3 in 15 is how many times 5 times so we're going to multiply we have 5 times 7 which is what 35 and 35 times 16 would give us what 5 6 t all right so on our right option here is option d our next question is from jam 2010 question 49 it says in how many ways can a committee of two women and three men be chosen from six men and five women so in how many ways so and you can see this combination we are combining two so when you see any and it's what we are multiple we're going to multiply the two combination that's a selection of two women from from five women and three men from six men and remember 
in the introduction of the topic, I said um, combination is also used in the formation of committee. Okay, so when you see committee in your exam, selection in your exam, you should know that they're talking about what combination. All right. Okay, so we're selecting two women from five women. So what would that combination be? That would be what five combination two and three men from six men. That's six combination what three. So we have this and will be what multiplication. So what is this? When we break it down, we have what five factorial over what five minus two factorial two factorial times six factorial over six minus three factorial then three factorial okay so let's break this down we're gonna have here this will be three factorial right and this will be what also three factorial okay so we're gonna have here five fac five times let's break this down times four times 3 factorial let's stop here so that 3 factorial can cancel out okay and we have 3 factorial times 2 and let's expand 2 factorial that was 2 times what 1 all right let don't forget this sign here and we have 6 times what 5 times 4 times 3 factorial okay divided by 3 factorial then let's break this 3 factorial then we have what times 3 times 2 times 1 okay so this will cancel out this will cancel out 2 will go here 1 and 2 would go here how many times 2 times and 3 here 1 and 3 would go here how many times 2 times so we're left with what 2 times 2 that's 4 and 4 times 5 that will give us what 20 okay so let's drop down 20 here times 2 will go here 1 and 2 will go here 2 times. So we have 5 times 2 and that will give us what? A 10. So what is 10 times 20? That will give us what? 200. Okay, so 200 is our answer and our correct option here is option B. Our final question is from JAM 2009, question 47. It says, in how many ways can a delegation of 3 be chosen from 5 men and 3 women if at least one man and one woman must be included so here we have to understand the question well it says how many ways can a delegation of three be chosen from five men and three women if at least one man and one woman must be included so what this means is that we're choosing three people and in those three delegations uh, delegates there must be one man and one woman so to choose out of these five men and three men is either we have one man and two women you know what choosing three people or we have two men and one woman okay this is the only way that we can what combine we can select from five men and three women with at least one man and one woman being included okay so here we have to interpret this and remember in the laws of combination the and is what multiplication or is addition and and here is also multiplication so what's the combination of one man okay so that will be five combination what since we have five men choosing one man we have what five combination one multiplied by what two women from three men three, from three women we have what three combination two so closing the bracket then plus we have here two women two men so that will be what five combination two multiplied by one woman that will be what three combination one all right so here so let's simplify this this will give b what five factorial over what's five minus one that's four factorial and what one factorial all right multiplied by what three factorial over that's three minus two that will be one factorial two factorial okay close this bracket plus 5 factorial we have we are going to have a 5 factorial what's 5 minus 2 that's 3 factorial and drop down our 2 factorial times we have 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 that's 2 factorial 1 factorial all right so let's simplify this now this we can break this down as this 5 factorial can be what 
5 times what? 4 factorial, okay? Where this will cancel out here, and 1 factorial is still 1. So we have here 5 times, and here, this can be broken down as 3 times what? 2 factorial. So where 2 factorial will cancel 2 factorial, I left it what? 3 over 1, which is the same as what? 3. So bracket, then plus. Here, what we have here, we have what? 5 times 4 times what? 3 factorial. Where 3 factorial will cancel out 3 factorial. And we're left with 2 times 1 here. And 2 will cancel out 2 up here, which will be 2. And what's 5 times 2? That will give us what? 10. Here, what do we have? 3 factorial is the same as 3 times what? 2, 2 factorial. And 2 factorial will cancel out. So we are left with 3 divided by 1. So times 3. All right? So here, what's 5 times 3? 5 times 3 is 15, and 10 times 3 is what, 30. So we have 15 plus 30, and what would that give us? 45. So our right option here is option D. Thank you for staying tuned to today's video tutorial class. See you in our next class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you. You are destined to win. Bye.